Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. I am Dr. Trupti and in this video we are going to learn about vitamin B5 which is also called as pantothenic acid. Pantothenic acid it is a B complex water soluble vitamin and pantose means everywhere and this pantothenic acid it is widely distributed in nature and that's why it is called as pantothenic acid which is present everywhere. It is the component of coenzyme A and acyl carrier protein which carries the acyl group. And the active form of pantothenic acid are coenzyme A and acyl carrier protein. So this pantothenic acid it is made up of or it consists of pantoic acid and beta alanine. So pantothenic acid is vitamin B5. It is a B complex and water soluble vitamin. Coenzyme A it is derived from pantothenic acid. This is the structure of coenzyme A and it consists of beta mercaptoethylamine, pantothenic acid and phosphorylated ADP. So together beta mercaptoethylamine, pantothenic acid and this ADP it becomes coenzyme A and this is the sulfhydryl group of beta mercaptoethylamine which is responsible for carrying the acetyl group here. And it is linked with this acetyl group by the thioester bond and this thioester bond it is the high energy bond and together with this acetyl group the coenzyme A it is called as acetyl coenzyme A and that and the coenzyme A is also written as COASH because uh, of presence of this sulfhydryl group of beta mercaptoethylamine and this is this sulfhydryl group it is also called as a thiol group and it is the active site of coenzyme A which is responsible for carrying this acyl component here you can see that acetyl group is linked to this sulfhydryl group of beta mercaptoethylamine and this coenzyme A it consists of a nucleotide. So this is about the structure of coenzyme A which consists of beta mercaptoethylamine, pantothenic acid and phosphorylated ADP. Now let's see how this coenzyme A is synthesized from the pantothenic acid. We know that pantothenic acid is derived from pantoic acid and beta alanine. So together pantoic acid plus beta alanine it becomes pantothenic acid. This is the first step. Now with the help of ATP there is formation of 4 prime phosphopantothenate and this reaction occurs with the help of enzyme pantothenate kinase. So this reaction requires ATP. Now in the next reaction uh, there is ATP and cysteine both are required and from this 4 phosphopantothenate there is formation of 4 prime phosphopantothenoyl cysteine because cysteine is involved in this reaction and ATP is also involved. So this is the second reaction where ATP is required. Next there is decarboxylation reaction here the 4 phosphopantothenoyl cysteine it is converted or decarboxylated to form 4 prime phosphopantothene and this occurs by the action of enzyme phosphopantothenoyl cysteine decarboxylase. So this is, this is the decarboxylation reaction and the next reaction where ATP is utilized and there is a pyrophosphate is released. So here two high energy bonds are needed and there is formation of D phospho coenzyme A. In the next and last reaction there is formation of coenzyme A from the D phospho coenzyme A by the action of enzyme D phospho coenzyme A kinase. So here you can see for the formation of coenzyme A from pantothenic acid we require five high energy bonds because this is the first ATP 1, 2 here and as there is formation of pyrophosphate and then there is release of a 2 inorganic phosphate it is considered as two high energy bonds and this is the fifth one. So five, five high energy bonds uh, are required to form coenzyme A from the pantothenic acid and this pantothenic acid it is derived from pantoic acid and beta alanine. Now coming to the dietary sources and RDA of pantothenic acid. The pantothenic acid are derived from the, these good dietary sources like liver, eggs,
किडनी ईस्ट मिल्क होल ग्रेन एंड सीरियल्स इट कैन ऑल्सो बी सिंथेसाइज बाय इंटेस्टिनल बैक्टीरियल फ्लोरा सो पैंटेथेनिक एसिड कैन बी सिंथेसाइज इन द ह्यूमन इंटेस्टिनल इंटेस्टाइन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द इंटेस्टिनल बैक्टीरियल फ्लोरा एंड द नॉर्मल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ पैंटोथेनिक एसिड इज टेन मिलीग्राम पर डे हाउ दिस पैंटोथेनिक एसिड इट इज मेटेबलाइज सो दिस पैंटोथेनिक एसिड इट इज डिराइव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ को एंजाइम ए फ्रॉम द फूड सोर्सेस सो इन द फूड सोर्सेस इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द को एंजाइम ए फॉर्म सो वंस द फूड कंटेनिंग पैंटोथेनिक एसिड इज इंजेस्टेड इन द गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टिनल ट्रैक द एंजाइम पैंटोथिनेस इट विल ब्रेक डाउन दिस को एंजाइम ए टू फॉर्म दिस पैंटोथेनिक एसिड दिस पैंटोथेनिक एसिड इट इज एब्जॉर्ब इन दैट फॉर्म इन द इंटेस्टिनल सेल and later in the circulation it is traveled to or circulated to various target tissues where it is again converted into coenzyme a and this occurs in most of the tissues including brain now let's see the biochemical functions of pantothenic acid and these functions are exerted through coenzyme a a stands for acetylation This coenzyme A plays a unique role in integrating various metabolic pathways of carbohydrate, proteins, and lipids. And more than 70 enzymes depend on this uh, coenzyme A. So when acyl groups like free fatty acids are linked to this coenzyme A by a thioester bond, they form acyl CoA. And when acetyl groups, that is two carbon compounds, are linked, they form acetyl CoA. and when the succinate is linked to to the coenzyme a it forms succinyl coa when hmg is linked with the coenzyme a it forms hmg coenzyme a now let's see the important functions of this coenzyme a derivatives and let's take the example of this acetyl coa how this acetyl coa is derived it is derived from pyruvate by action of enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase complex it is also derived from the ketogenic amino acid and the exclusively ketogenic amino acid is leucine on beta oxidation of fatty acid we can also means we get acetyl coa so acetyl coa is derived from pyruvate ketogenic amino acid and oxidation of fatty acid now what are the various fates of this acetyl coa so it is oxidized through the tca cycle and there is formation of reducing equivalents which are further oxidized to electron transport chain and we get energy that is atp second acetyl coa it is the substrate for fatty acid synthesis and first reaction of fatty acid synthesis is formation of malonyl coa from acetyl coa and that's how acetyl coa is important for this fatty acid synthesis cholesterol synthesis acetyl coa then formation of hmg coa there is formation of cholesterol in the body so both hmg coa and acetyl coa we can say that both derivatives are uh, important for cholesterol biosynthesis and from the cholesterol we can get vitamin d and various steroid hormones so indirectly acetyl coa plays a very important role in the synthesis of cholesterol vitamin d and various steroid hormones now in the starvation and uncontrolled diabetes mellitus ketone bodies are synthesized and this ketone body for this ketone body synthesis acetyl coa is required uh, it is also involved on involved in the formation of neurotransmitter that is acetyl choline and also required for the detoxification reaction the another coenzyme a derivative is succinyl coa this succinyl coa it is derived from alpha ketoglutarate in the tca cycle then the amino acids like methionine threonine isoleucine and valine on their metabolism we get succinyl coa and oxidation of odd chain fatty acid acid will also lead to formation of succinyl coa so on the oxidation of odd chain fatty acid we get first propionyl coa that propionyl coa it is converted into methyl malonyl coa and which is further converted to the succinyl coa and it becomes the intermediate of tca cycle so we get succinyl coa from alpha ketoglutarate the amino acids like methionine threonine isoleucine valine and oxidation of odd chain fatty acid now what are the various fates where this succinyl coa is required so it is the intermediate of tca cycle that's why it is required in that tca cycle it is required in the process of gluconeogenesis because further in the tca cycle 
there is formation of oxaloacetate which is being utilized for the gluconeogenesis and that's why the succinyl coa indirectly is utilized for this gluconeogenesis then succinyl coa plus glycine this is the first step of heme synthesis and there is formation of delta amino levulinic acid that's why we can say that succinyl coa it is required for porphyrins or heme synthesis then it is required for acetoacetate activation and this activation is very important for ketone bodies utilization in condition of starvation and uncontrolled diabetes mellitus and it is very important in detoxification reactions now let's see how this coenzyme a it is involved in activation of molecules with the help of some reactions this is the first reaction of uh, ox beta oxidation of fatty acids where fatty acids need to be activated to form fatty acyl coa uh, in the cytosol so that they can be transported in the mitochondria for further beta oxidation so this is the first step where fatty acids combine with coenzyme a by the action of enzyme acyl coa synthetase and there is this uh, transfer of coenzyme a to form fatty acyl coa so this is the activation of fatty acid to fatty acyl coa which is important for beta oxidation of fatty acid second formation of succinyl coa from alpha ketoglutarate and this also requires activation of alpha ketoglutarate requires coenzyme a and this occurs with the help of enzyme alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase now acetyl coa formation from pyruvate it, it needs coenzyme a and this reaction is catalyzed by pyruvate dehydrogenase so this is the formation of acetyl coa from pyruvate by pyruvate dehydrogenase and further this acetyl coa has various fates in the body how this coenzyme a it is involved in the transfer of group in coenzyme bound form let's see so this acetyl coa plus choline it leads to formation of acetyl co choline and coenzyme a is liberated and this reaction occurs with the help of enzyme acetyl choline synthase so here there is a transfer of acetyl group to the choline and there is formation of acetyl choline second acetyl coa plus oxaloacetate to form citrate so this is the reaction of tca cycle which uh, which uh, occurs with the help of enzyme citrate synthase then succinyl coa plus acetoacetate to form acetoacetyl coa plus succinate and this is very important step uh, in the ketone body utilization and this step occurs with the help of enzyme beta ketoacyl coa transferase or it is also called as thiophorase so this enzyme thiophorase it is very important for utilization of ketone bodies by various uh, tissues and as this enzyme is not present in the liver liver cannot utilize ketone bodies as a fuel means liver synthesizes ketone bodies but they cannot utilize because utilization requires this presence of this enzyme and this enzyme is absent in the liver so this is the important step for ketone bodies utilization in starvation as well as in the uncontrolled diabetes mellitus now coming to the pantothenic acid deficiency which is very rare and if uh, there is deficiency it leads to gopalan's burning food syndrome it is seen during famine when there is extreme scarcity of food in the prison camps and also it is common in chronic alcoholics due to deficiency of this pantothenic acid it is manifested as paresthesia that is the burning lightning pain in lower extremities and also a staggering gait that is impaired due to impaired coordination so these are the clinical features seen in this burning food syndrome which occurs due to deficiency of pantothenic acid the pantothenic acid deficiency can be assessed by estimation of pantothenic acid by microbiological assay using l arabinoses and there are some antivitamins of this pantothenic acid and those are pantoyl taurin and omega methyl pantothenic acid so this is about the pantothenic acid uh, we have seen the chemistry uh, of uh, pantothenic acid how coenzyme a is formed from the pantothenic acid what are the biochemical functions of the pantothenic acid and coenzyme a the deficiency of uh, pantothenic acid and how it is assessed so i hope this video on pantothenic acid uh, will be useful to you and if you like the content on my channel enjoy biochemistry 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियोज एंड हेल्प दिस चैनल टू ग्रो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग